Oh, the whole place smells of fish. You would think that would keep people away. Welcome to Chance. If you're here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Again? Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh. oh I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't here about Mr. Okaribo's debt to Kelcor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. <sighs> yeah, maybe you should have, for my sake. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. If only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Just because I work for a megacorp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigbo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? It's a substantial amount of credits. I couldn't allow you to do that. Just talk to him, get him to accept my help, and I'll do the rest. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. Have a fine day. Welcome to Keltkor. Because my father has a ridiculous sense of humor, and I can't stand the name Clover. I mean, seriously, Clover? Our family's Irish, for God's sake. I don't think he could have possibly been more on the nose with that name. Ha ha, very funny, Dad. Niall? Ah, oh, if you asked him. Truth is, he tends. When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Obviously, business hasn't been going well. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. A poor man. For now, but let's not mistake my position for what it really is. A test set up by my father. He's set to retire in a few years, and I'm his old. So he shuttles me out here for two. And two gets hit. Nice visiting with you. Are you lost? Ranger? 
Are you supposed to be here? What do you want to do for the break later? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Hmm. One of those days, huh? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrebrew right now. Yeah? You don't... I'll go with you. ...need you to wear your helmet on this planet. Asks. You know that, right? If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Something I can do for you, love. They're alive, right? Have I mentioned that I am not fond of seafood? It's a wonderful day, my Hello, my friend. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. I know they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. I haven't seen a leech in a while. <laughs> Some would say this place represents all the worst impulses of humanity. Clover McKenna. Lovely day for it. That's fantastic! I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And 
If he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you, and here for your efforts.